The internet may be full of Let's Players and YouTube reviewers, but the gold standard is one guy and two robots. Mystery Science Theater 3000 is probably the only cult classic that's about cult classics. First launched on Thanksgiving Day in 1988, it's all about three guys sitting around making fun of old sci-fi movies. The show lasted for almost 12 years with almost 200 episodes and a movie. And now, almost 30 years later, creator Joel Hodgson is trying to revive the series. He launched a Kickstarter last week that's already met its first fundraising goal. You might think it's just a bunch of geeks trying to reboot one of their favorite shows, but Mystery Science Theater was actually way ahead of its time. It was one of the first times talking over a movie was its own form of entertainment. Surprisingly, it wasn't the first audio commentary. Is this the previews? I like the previews. That honor goes to the Criterion Collection Laserdisc release of King Kong all the way back in 1984. Laserdisc? Laserdisc? I've heard of this medium. The sad part is somebody paid like 200 bucks to get King Kong on Laserdisc. Only instead of humor and robots, we instead get a film historian boring us to death. I think art is imitating life. I hate art. Hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> now clearly, Mr. Science Theater made it way more entertaining, adding tons of humor plus modern social commentary. This is perfectly shown on their commentaries on old PSAs. One which fitted her for that very important career of being Mrs. Johnson. Boom. And even after they were canceled, their legacy still continues. Online commentary is one of the biggest forms of entertainment out there. You've got thousands of videos on YouTube, plus tons of live streams on Twitch. Let's Player PewDiePie alone has over 40 million subscribers and 10 billion views. We can't say that's all thanks to Mystery Science Theater, but the show did play a huge part. It showed us that media isn't perfect, and making fun of it is okay. In fact, you can actually get a greater appreciation for something once you look at its flaws. So that's why I bought a new mirror. Can we get that King Kong guy back? The Kickstarter runs until December 12th. If they get the full $5.5 million, they can fund a full 12-episode season.